Hey yo, what to do YouTube? It's your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, and what I got for you today happens to be the best 6'8 small forward build within the whole of NBA 2K22 next gen. Now, I personally believe there is no glitched 6'8 small forward build that is better than this, but hey, I'm gonna leave that up to you, the viewers, to decide. If you feel like there is, don't forget, drop a comment down below telling me so, and send me a link to the video, because I will watch it through, because I personally believe there isn't. But yeah, as I said, position small forward, right-handed and as you can see I'm basing the small forward build around Jason Tatum just because recently he's been balling out not gonna lie been hating on him this entire season because I feel like yeah but yeah he's been balling out so I figured why not make a Jason Tatum build because it helps kill time but um before we get into the build I just gotta say thank you to everybody for support to the channel but if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet do me a favor go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because it helps me grow and we're trying to get to 500 because we're so close damn it we're so close and if you like today's video and you want to see more NBA 2K22 content, whether that be gameplay, build videos, tips and tricks, or just generally you want to see me play other games, then do me a favor, drop a like on the video. And the third most important thing, do me a favor, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Specifically, drop a comment telling me what you think of the videos, whether there's anything new you want to see or whether you want to see more of the same with just more builds. But yeah, as I said, it is a 6'8 small forward build. However, weight-wise, I will be bringing it down to about 210 pounds because that is how much Jason Tatum weighs, and I will be bringing the wingspan down to about 6'10". Irony, this man makes the greatest build within NBA 2K22 at a 6'8 small forward. Now, body shape-wise, you do know he is compact, because, yeah, he's not he's not the most muscular of people. Now, first things first, you're going to mess, mess around with the physical. So I personally decided to go with the 77 speed, 75 XL, and then on the stamina side, I decided to go with the 91, just because the truth of it is, plus 4 from gym rat gets you to a 95. Then with the vertical, I decided to go with a 70 just because I was trying to get contact dunks. Not the greatest, but the generic ones because the truth of it is, yeah, man, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Posters are nice in this game, but let's be dead truthful. If you're trying to kill people, you're not really trying to go for posters all the time. So it is what it is. Now, as I said, because it is, in, is inspired by Jason Tatum, who happens to be inspired by the one, the late, great Kobe Bryant, we got to deal with the shooting first. Secondly, sorry. So we're going to put a 90 on the mid-range just because this allows me to get, you know what I'm saying, the majority of stuff that I need. Then we're going to put an 85 on the three ball just because this allows me to get it to a level whereby, honestly, you will knock down every jump shot. Because as most of you know, shooting in this game is hella easy. And with 30 total shooting badge points, you can really do a lot with this build. Now, the next thing to mess with will be the playmaking where I decided to go with an 81 on the ball handle just because anything below that doesn't allow me to get gold space creator. Then speed with ball, I maxed out because the truth of it is, it is, it is kind of useless. But hey, you know what I'm saying? We use it, we use it. And then pass accuracy, I decided to go with a 77 just because that allows me, you know what I'm saying, to get 21... Actually, why did I go with a 77? I don't even remember. I might change the 77. I might change the 77. But the next thing to mess with will be the defensive side of the ball. This, this is where this build shines because you can guard at all positions. Now, it comes with a 70 overall defense on the interior and then an 86 on the perimeter because the truth of it is we want to get that gold menace as well as an 80 on the, you know what I'm saying, on the steal just because I decided to max it out. Then when it comes to the block, I decided to go with an 81 just because anything below that doesn't allow me to get gold intimidator. Offensive rebound, really and truly, I only went with a 74 because you're not looking to crash the offensive glass with this build. However, I did decide to go with an 81 on the defensive because that's the bare minimum you need for Hall of Fame box. Pause. Pause. But yeah, that's the very minimum you need for Hall of Fame box, so you gotta run with an 81 defensive rebound. And trust me, you'll be able to rebound amongst the bigs. Now, the last thing to mess with happens to be the actually the second to last because we're most likely going to mess with the pass accuracy one more time happens to be the finishing side of the ball. Now, first things first, you got to put the driving dunk up to an 85 because this allows you to get majority of contact of basic contact dunks at this position. Then you got to put the driving layup up to an 82 just because I did want the ability of getting a few extra badge points. And then I decided to go with an 85 on the post control just because this allows me to get a total of 21 finishing badges. The key one here being Hall of Fame back down Punisher, because trust me, Jason Tatum loves to play at the post. Now, I might take, actually, hold up, where am I going to take a point from? I can't take a point from there. I'm trying to take a point and move it somewhere, because I want to put it on this, you know what I'm saying? I want to put it on the pass accuracy. Hmm, you know what? I'm going to take it off strength. Yeah, we're going to take it off strength. We're going to take two off strength, and we're going to slap it on pass accuracy, and boom! Modify the build as we made it. But as you can see, what we're finished with is... 20 total finishing bash points, 30 shooting, 22 playmaking, 
and 25 defensive. Now in total, that is 42, 67, 97 total bash points for the plus seven you get for doing the whole thing of, you know what I'm saying, finishing college. Actually, let me slap this extra point right here. And boom, there it is, 99 overall, Jason Tatum build. I'm not gonna lie, the thing is money. Guards at all levels and scores at all levels. Now when it comes to primary takeover with it being a Jason Tatum build, you could easily go for something like ankle breaking shots or maybe negative impact because the truth you're not actually i'm gonna go negative impact to start with just because that is how he majority plays this game and then the next thing to possibly go with is spot of precision because i'm gonna be dead serious if you the boy is not wanna actually i'm gonna go with post shot daggers because he loves to play out the post and i'm not gonna lie his defense isn't exactly the most elite out here but hey kyle kuzma let him drop damn near 50 on the wizards it is what it is now what 2k says we have happened to build here happens to be a uh, two-way sharpshooter the likes of chris middleton rj barrett and scotty pippen i'm not gonna lie i do see how all three could be linked to jason tatum chris middleton is a better scorer actually I, yeah chris middleton's a better scorer version of jason tatum rj barrett's a little bit of a watered down version and scotty pippen's just a hall of fame version of all three but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to do me a favor go ahead and drop a like on the video because it helps me know and if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button because as i said we're trying to get to 500 asap and if you have a comment on a specific video or a specific build or anything you feel like we should change on here that you want to see then do me a favor go ahead and drop a comment down below but yeah it's been your boy alvin mb10 aka amr10 deuces